I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be making my own external solid state drive. So a little while back I had picked up this Sabrent USB 3.1 enclosure for NVMe PCI Express M key M.2 solid state drives. Um, it was actually, it was a promotional offer. Um, I got this last year, I think it was, yeah, it was last year during the home project. I had that one computer from a local business service, and it had, it was a relatively new, I think it was an iBower PC, iBuy Power PC, and it had a failed uh, SATA SSD, yet the motherboard itself had a, an, had an available M.2 slot, so I took advantage of that and bought a uh, <clears throat> a new uh, PCI Express NVMe SSD for it, and apparently Sabrent was offering me a deal uh, on Amazon where you could get a free enclosure. That's how I got this. The, the original intention I had for this was on occasion um, I would get a computer for service that would have an M.2 drive and I would want to have a means of backing up that N.2 drive externally and I use this for that so I never really put this together permanently I just occasion occasionally use it to uh, um, back up or restore data to a M.2 drive PCIe SSD but I'm going to actually pick up a uh, docking station for such drives and I decided you know what now, considering right now when I'm on the go I, uh, I use this big bulky old Western Digital my book uh, USB 2 external hard drive so as you can imagine pulling data off of that external hard drive being it's a 5400 5, RPM drive and also it's limited by USB 2.0 throughput um, you can imagine it's miserable so I when I bought the uh, stuff to build this system here, the uh, Ryzen 5 5600G system in this uh, old, new old stock um, a PVX QPAC 2 case. I picked up an additional M.2 drive. Um, picked up a 1 terabyte M.2 NVMe drive. So we're going to actually install this into this enclosure. So for the, as mentioned, I use this on occasion to do backups and restores of a uh, PCIe M.2 drives is a simple way to do it over USB. So that would explain why everything's been already, already been opened. But um, if we have a look here, this is what's inside this product. The M.2 drive goes installed right here, and you can actually adjust this. Um, you can actually put in a smaller M.2 drive if you need to. Uh, but we're doing the full 2280 size M.2 drive here. It's really straightforward. You, I mean, literally, you just install the drive, you peel this off, and this is actually a thermal pad, and it helps pull heat off the SSD and transfer it to this aluminum enclosure. Okay, I'm gonna safely say the installation is very straightforward here. Um, first, we gotta go ahead and unpack our NVMe drive. Yeah, it's nice how this uh, this manufacturer uh, silicon power their uh, their packaging is not terrible by any means. You can actually get into it without having to use special tools like a knife or a pair of scissors. I mean, it's straightforward. It's a lot different than let's say uh, trying to unpack a uh, SanDisk SD memory card. So. Since we're using a full length drive, the uh, 2280, we don't have to do any adjustments down here. It's literally just pop it in. Now I should mention um, this the enclosure only works with PCIe M.2 drives, not M.2 SATA. Totally different thing. 
that's something to watch out for when you're purchasing when you're shopping for an M.2 drive is because you know, I mean sometimes it, they can be easy to overlook sometimes the price may seem too good to be true it's probably a M.2 SATA drive okay so they do provide this set of uh, screws here there's like six screws in there it looks like we only need four to actually close this up now this M.2 uh, securing screw I'm not sure where it came from um, I know the kit was I'm, I'm pretty sure the kit came with one I probably just misplaced it I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for this kit if you're interested in it. It's a very solid feeling enclosure too, I should mention. So before I uh, secure this down, we need to go ahead and uh, peel this mask off, which is covering the thermal pad. Actually, first I'm going to test it real quick. Um, something I would advise you to do, actually is we're just going to do a quick little test here, plug it into a uh, USB connection and see if we can access the drive. Now keep in mind since this is a brand new drive um, you'll need to initialize it and create a partition on it and you can see it's lining up and I know this is off camera, I'm just going to check on the computer real quick here and it is seeing it so it needs to be initialized and formatted but just wanted to confirm that it was working so before I went to the trouble of putting this all together so I'm going to peel this off here this will expose the thermal pad and it goes on like this So I'm going to set that down to place and it's going to actually rest the thermal pad across the top of the SSD. Again, that's for, uh, for cooling. And these screws here um, that secure the uh, cover on are actually Torx. Luckily I do have a Torx driver right here. It's a T8. So we'll go ahead and insert these screws. Okay. So we now we have this together, and it does appear that, so there's actually, on the bottom, there's actually rubber feet on here. And these uh, pieces of plastic peel off. And that really does seem to help stop it from sliding around easily so <laughs> that's really cool so I'm gonna plug this back in and I'll show you how to initialize the disk provided you have a brand new drive M.2 drive okay so we need to go into file explorer and let's pull up file explorer Right click computer and select manage. Click on disk management. And we should get a notification in this window that we have a, a drive that needs to be initialized. There we are. So depending on how your Windows install is, whether it's MBR or GPT, it'll ask you to set it up either way. We're going to choose G, um, GPT for this one.
Okay, so now it's been initialized. Right click on here and choose New Simple Volume. Select Next. Select Next. Next again. I'm going to actually change this to K. You can leave it as you wish. Select Next. I'm going to give it a name. Leave this checked. Select Next. And finish. So it's going to format it. Now I should mention the, the GPT um, setup instead of MBR, uh, the GPT will not work on older versions of Windows. I think older than Windows Vista. So keep that in mind. So now if we go into uh, my computer, we can see it right there. Actually, no, hang on. There it is. So now we have a uh, portable SSD that connects via USB-C ready to go. See, so ladies, that is installing an SSD M.2 drive into this Sabrent enclosure. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.